Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we made our way to the peaks of Alpha and saw an epic battle between Ho-Oh and Lugia. In today's episode, we are going to backtrack a little bit, make our way back to the donut region, and go after a couple legendary Pokemon. I hope you guys are having a great week. It is Tuesday, so I guess you could say it is still the beginning of the week. We still have quite a bit to go. I thought it would be a good time for us to go after all these legendary Pokemon, as I do know that there are going to be a bunch of Pokemon spread across these three regions. Now, there are going to be Pokemon up to Gen 5, so there's going to be a lot of these legendaries going all the way up to Gen 5. So we're going to have to run around and look for them. They're actually hidden in a lot of little areas you wouldn't think about. I've actually started looking into where all these legendaries are hiding here in this game, and I gotta tell you guys, we're gonna have a really, really good time looking for them because they are really, really spread out. Now, the first one we are going after... Oh, there we go. So I went ahead and found the little island. I knew there was going to be a little island with a house in it. So we also found a rare candy. I'll go ahead and take that. Let's go ahead and make our way inside of Soheel's house. And this is where we will be finding a legendary Pokemon. Oh, my name is Soheel. People don't usually come to visit me. Not many people know it, but I'm going to leave for in a different league. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy on in a bit of a battle. Well, that was a pretty easy battle, considering his Pokemon were level 50. Now, as we don't have any room on our team, we've gone ahead and received a Victini from Soheel, and it's been transferred to our PC. So, Victini, that is the first legendary that we're going to go ahead and catch, and we've gone ahead and added it to our PC, which is really, really cool. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at this Victini. I think Victini is one of those Pokemon that are really, really awesome, so let's check it out. It's level 20. It looks so cool. It almost looks like a Digimon, if you think about it. It really does. So, this is a, actually a pretty cool Pokemon that we caught, and I'm really glad that we're going to go ahead and have that legendary. With that, though, guys, let's go ahead and make our way to our next location. Now, as I said, we're back here in the donut region, so we've actually explored this area before. This is on the way to the Pokemon League, to the Tuned Pokemon League. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on the map where we are really quick, just so you guys don't get too lost. So we're pretty much at the Tuned League, right before it, very close to where we need to be. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of this place before. Now, this is an area we did explore before, so this is Mount Furness. We ran around here for a little bit. There really wasn't much for us to do, so we didn't really explore it too much. But now we're actually going to get the chance to explore it because there is going to be another legendary Pokemon here, which is going to be really, really good. You know, all these little areas and these little caves that I feel like we saw earlier on in this adventure, now we're turning out to have all these little hidden Pokemon in them and all these little secrets, which is going to be cool to see. I know that we're going to have the chance to explore a lot of these three regions that we've had the chance to go through again. So we have still quite a bit of adventuring in store for us. Now, let's see where this is actually going to be taking me. I hope this is taking me in the right direction. I've also gone ahead and stocked up on a couple things. So I think we will be good going into this legendary hunting. I have a bunch of max repels. And as you guys were able to see, a couple Pokeballs that I'm sure are going to be able to help us. I think this will be the cave. And whoa, there we have it, guys. So Reshram is actually in front of us. I come to this volcano recharge. You trainer, the fire in your eyes burn fierce. It intrigues me. Let us do battle. All right, guys, here we go. Rodri versus Reshiram. So let's go ahead and take this Pokemon on. Now, as I told you guys, we are going to have a little bit of an easier time because, thankfully... They actually sell Master Balls here in Pokemon Glazed. And I've gone ahead and picked up a couple for us today so that we can actually use them against these legendary Pokemon. So with that, guys, there we have it. Reshiram has been caught. It's only level 50, so I don't think it would be that difficult to battle. But having these Master Balls in the Master Ball shop in this game just makes it that much easier. With that, we've gone ahead and caught Reshiram. So let's go ahead and give this Pokemon a nickname. I'm just going to give it a simple nickname, you know, just one of those that just kind of stands out. We're going to call it Rez. So with that, Rez has been transferred. 
transfer to the PC, and we are ready to continue on to another location. We found a fire plume, though, so make sure you guys keep that in mind, because that is definitely going to come in very, very handy. Very, very handy, I got to tell you guys, in our adventure. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and take us to our next place. Okay, guys, so we're here in Ocean View City now. So a lot of exploring here in the donut region. These are all things that we probably could have done right after defeating the Tuned League. But I kind of wait to catch legendaries till the end of the adventures. Because I think it's, you know, a little bit more fun to just go exploring and catching all of them and finding their little hidden spots. Once you can go across all the regions. So I think that's what's really cool about that. Let's see where this is headed, though. If you guys remember, this is actually where we kind of first started talking to RSP, so it's kind of funny that RSP is now on our team as well. It looks like we made it to the top, though, so now this is an entrance we couldn't access before, but now we are finally able to, and with that, guys, up ahead, it looks like we have Zekrom. That, that is actually kind of terrifying to see him on top of a building. This place, I come here to recharge my dwindling electricity. Trainer, I sense the power in your heart. It rivals even my own. I would enjoy the chance to battle you. Here we go, Rodri versus Reshiram and Zekrom and all the other legendary Pokemon here in this place because we've had to go up against so many already and we still have quite a bit to do. All right, guys, we're going to head and take on Zekrom. Now, another Master Ball is going to go ahead and catch this guy, so we should be good to go. And there we have it, guys. Zekrom has been caught, so very cool. Every time I see a Zekrom, I got to tell you guys, it's one of the most intimidating Pokemon. I don't know about the Reshiram, but the Zekrom is one of those Pokemon that are definitely really, really scary. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give this guy a nickname. We're just going to go ahead and uh, call this Pokemon Zek. So with that, Zek has been transferred to the PC. Another legendary in the bag. And with that, guys, we found a Thunder Plume. Ooh. Let's make our way to the next place. We are in Cape Azure. And now that we do realize that there's a little bit of patterns with the plumes, we have to go after another legendary Pokemon, which will balance out the trio, right? So with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and make our way inside of the Icicle Tunnel because it is here in the Icicle Tunnel where we will be going after another really cool legendary. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's really right at the entrance. They pretty much left all the legendary Pokemon we're going after at the entrance of Cave. So they're pretty easy to find with that guys there. We have it. Look at this beast Let's go ahead and talk to Kyrim. You look into the eyes of the cold one with no fear. I'm impressed You desire a battle. Do you not very well? I accept your challenge. Here we go Rodri versus Kyrim, so let's go ahead and take on Kyrim. He's level 50. So let's send out RSP yet again I feel like it's funny that RSP is the one going up against all these Pokemon because all these Pokemon probably have some sort of beef with RSP At least here in the donut region because RSP kind of changed ways once we made our way to Johto with that though guys Kyrim was caught So there we have it another legendary added very simple very easy Kyrim the boundary Pokemon it can produce ultra cold air Let's go ahead and give a nickname to the Skyrim then. I think I'm just going to go ahead and call it something simple. Something that will hopefully come in very clutch. We're going to call it Caillou. And with that, guys, we are off to make our way to the next place. And we've also gone ahead and found the Ice Bloom. So we're looking quite good. Okay, guys, last but not least, we are here in Darkwood Town, and we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring into the Darkwood Grotto. So we've actually had the chance to explore the Darkwood Grotto before, but we never really had the chance to completely explore it because there are still a couple little hidden areas that we're going to be able to look around for a couple more legendaries. So we don't have to battle that guy, thankfully. We are going to need Rock Smash on one of our Pokemon. We're going to go ahead and probably just teach it to Cheeky. The funny thing is that Cheeky was the one that helped us at the beginning of the adventure with all these and i was like yeah you know i'm sure cheeky won't have to have these moves much longer we've made it to pretty much as close as we can to finishing the game and here we have cheeky yet again learning all these moves so i'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of earthquake since we do have the tm for that and then we should be able to continue on and see what else we have in store for us inside of this place which is actually gonna be really really cool when i first explored this place i didn't expect for there to be legendaries here so the fact that there are some hidden away in the darkwood grotto that's really really cool what is this a human in our private chambers i demand you leave at once we don't deal with humans such cruel creatures i'll take care of him boss don't fret 
Here we go, Rodri versus Verizion. So let's go ahead and take on the first of the Swords of Justice. So it looks like we found where these Swords of Justice are hiding, and we're gonna be taking on all three of them at once. Now, this is something that you need to be prepared for if you're deciding to go after all these legendaries. You're gonna come upon a couple of these trios that you're gonna have to battle back to back to back. So make sure that you guys are ready for it, that you have a bunch of Pokeballs and you're stocked up because it can turn out to be a much more difficult battle than you actually expect it to be. With that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and give this Pokemon a nickname, and I'm gonna go ahead and call it after one of the League of Legends characters I play. We're gonna call it Vi, and I think that, that fits very well with Verizion. Let's see who's up next. It's Terrakion. Ha! He might just be a kid, but he's tough. Don't worry, Kamaleon. I'll defeat him. Here we go. Rodri versus Terrakion. So let's go ahead and take on Terrakion then. And we're going to see what this guy has in store. Every time I see Terrakion, he just seems to be like the big buff. You know, the one that protects the other two. The one that's a little bit more macho. You know, that's just how I see that Pokemon. And, oh, lucky for us, we caught it on the first try. Who would have thought? Terrakion was caught. And there we have it, guys. Let's go ahead and think up of a nickname. So with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and just call this Terrakion Tur. So with that, Tur has been transferred to the PC, and we're looking good to continue on. Verizion, Terrakion, I'll just have to take you down myself. Here we go, Rodri versus Kobalion. So let's take on the last of these Swords of Justice. And here we go, guys. I've always seen the Kobalion as the leader of the Swords of Justice. I just think it always comes off like that. I also really, really like how colorful and how pretty Cobalion is. I gotta tell you guys, the Swords of Justice are just such well-designed Pokemon that they're always great to see in any game. With that, guys, Cobalion was caught, and we are gonna go ahead and give this guy a nickname, Cobalion, the Iron Will Pokemon, and we're just gonna go ahead and call it... I think this is actually a pretty cool name for it. I kind of always wanted to call it Pokemon this, so we're just gonna go ahead and call this Pokemon Lion. So with that, Lion has been transferred to the PC, and we are done here inside of the Dogwood Grotto. I may have gone too far. I like that. He, our, our own character knows that. We probably shouldn't be catching these many legendaries in one go. But hey, that's what you have to do, right? All right, let's go ahead and get out of the Darkwood Grotto. Now, I actually have a surprise for you guys. We still have one more thing that we need to take care of today and the cool thing is that we're actually going to be taking care of it here in darkwood town so if you guys remember we actually made a wish before at the wishing well we actually wished for peace but that is not the answer that the fountain was looking for so here in the fighters fountain we can actually go ahead and enter another little code which will grant access to a special area so we're gonna go ahead and type in justice i believe that's what it is let's see if that does anything and it looks like that didn't do anything what did i not type in right so this is where we're supposed to open up a little bit of a cave so that we can find another source of justice you could say maybe we have to throw it into this fountain who knows i know this guy's been over here hanging out with his jolteon for the longest time i think i know what it may be i think I think we might have to put an exclamation mark at the end so i think it's like justice not just justice so let's just go ahead and type that in i'm pretty sure that is what's gonna do it so with that guys let's type it in and we should be good we made a wish and there we have it guys very cool a cavern opened up so let's go ahead and make our way inside of the cavern now justice is what apparently we have made our way into the cave of justice and there we have it guys this is the fourth member of the swords justice i do wish i do wish for justice are you capable of bringing it let us find out here we go Rodri versus keldeo so let's go ahead and take on the fourth swords of justice keldeo the little level 40 pokemon every time i see this pokemon it's just so adorable it's hidden away it's kind of cool that we could have actually found this pokemon earlier but hey i didn't know the code to getting into this fountain with that though guys there we have it keldeo has been caught so we're doing quite well we've caught a bunch of legendary pokemon today so with that guys keldeo has been added to the pokedex we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a a bit of a nickname now i'm just gonna go ahead and call it pretty much what i've been calling everybody else we've been giving everybody little cool nicknames but this one we're just gonna go ahead and call this pokemon after the password that we used to get inside of here so we're gonna call it justice with that guys justice was transferred to the pc and we've gone ahead and caught a ton of legendaries for today so with that guys we are done with the legendary hunting for today as i mentioned to you guys there are legendaries from gen 1 through 
5. So although we caught a lot from Gen 5 today, there is still a bunch left for us to go. So if you guys have any tips and comments on the legendaries we have left to catch, make sure you guys let me know. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye!